Have you been hurt by somebody who has mental health challenges? And do you believe that they owe you an apology? Or on the other hand, do you have mental health challenges and are you feeling guilty about how you behave, how you treated it? You wondering if you should apologize? Well, this video will address those questions. Coach Drew. Hello everybody, Coach Drew here. I had an amazing question come my way uh, from Tanika Chambers. And because it's Bell Let's Talk uh, season, we're talking about mental health. Let's talk, let's talk, let's talk. Let's keep talking and let's keep doing. I agree with the, the message entirely. And the question is, should people apologize for mental health symptoms? The answer is a little bit complicated. So let's talk about the obvious, I think, which is a knee jerk kind of reaction, which I think is very accurate. Um, Somebody who, who's experiencing mental health symptoms, um, whether they are symptoms like feeling when you're, when you're depressed, right? You might not have the energy to get out of bed. Your mood might be very irritable, so you might you know, not treat people the way that they are worthy of being treated. You might renege on commitments. You might not show up. Um, you might fall short of doing the things that it is that you really want to do that are rightly your responsibility. Um, let's talk about something where, like, somebody who's experiencing schizophrenia, right? Where they are sometimes losing, losing, losing time right uh, psychotic episodes where they are doing things they're being aggressive um, you know saying things that are just not kind not true um, sometimes really out of it thinking that they're God and a lot of things can be happening for this person an anxiety disorder intense experiences of anxiety where people again they don't show up or they, they leave in the middle of things, um, being for, extremely forgetful. A lot of people don't realize that um, sometimes you can be so anxious and so concerned about life that you lose pace with some of the things that you want to be doing. So when somebody is experiencing these things, how could you expect them to apologize for that? It's, it's an experience that they are not wanting to have. It's an experience of not being ultimately in that moment in control. So the heart of an apology is really about taking responsibility for the hurt that you've caused someone else. So when that hurt is not intentional, it's important for that person to understand where that hurt's coming from and seek to address it. So. No, they should not apologize for their experience. However, if their behaviors are causing hurt to somebody else, yes, 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 yes. You apologize for the impact of your behavior. You're not apologizing for your experience. You're apologizing for the impact of your behavior. So when I think about the art of a genuine apology, it really talks about the differences between the two. They're definitely connected, but it's important that we deal with our stuff in a way that helps us to take responsibility, not just for the actions that are impacting others, but also take responsibility for our own lives, our own mental health, dealing with that. One of the worst parts about experiencing significant mental health challenges is feeling powerless. And one of the downsides is we believe that we are. We believe that we're powerless often because we don't understand where this thing is coming from. We don't understand when it will end or if it will end. We believe that our lives are forever going to be impaired. And that's a hard place to live from. It really, really is. And I know there are many thoughts about it. Um, some people, you know, consider all mental health and mental illness. Some people are you know on the other end of the spectrum and don't want to own it as an as an illness um 
I think there's a spectrum. You know, some people's experience sometime might be at this end and some people on the other end. So understanding that for yourself, where you're at is important. Um, you can take responsibility by getting good information. You can get, take responsibility by speaking to people. Speaking of speaking, let men speak. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about mental health concerns, particularly for black men, amongst black men. That's part of an opportunity to take responsibility for ourselves, to get some answers to some questions, but not be alone. So I hope that answers the questions. I, I know it's a big question, um, but I do think it's important to tease the two apart. No, do not apologize for your experience. However, it is important to apologize for the impact of your behavior. Now, if you want to go the full length and offer a genuine apology, remember there are four steps. Use the live formula, right? Live formula, for those of you who haven't heard it, there it goes. L, you want to list the specific behaviors you're apologizing for. I, you want to imagine the impact and you want to give voice to that. That is had on the other person. That's where the empathy comes in. V, that's when you verbalize a, a commitment to a plan of action. If you have no plan of action, you cannot commit to it and you're likely going to commit the same offense again. And then E, you want to extend an invitation for the other person to give feedback. It's a very vulnerable place to be, but if you're really seeking reconciliation and wanting to bring healing to that relationship, these four steps are essential. So I hope that answers the question. If you have any more questions, send them my way. And thanks to Nika for the question. Obviously, as with the rest of life, it's a really complicated question and there could be a lot of ins and outs. So if you have more questions as a result, by all means, reach out to me, let me know. I will do my best to answer. If you are interested in receiving a copy of The Art of a Genuine Apology, by all means, I will email you one or you can find it on, on Amazon, The Art of a Genuine Apology, written by me. It is a book that's changing lives. I hope you check it out. And if you haven't subscribed, by all means, now's the time. Leave me a comment, like, share, um, and I'll see you in the next video.